Good evening, I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. Authorities from the Trade Department and the Interagency Task Force inspected mall stores in Quezon City to evaluate if they are adhering to the health protocols for dine-in restaurants and fast food establishments. Now, to give us the latest on this, we have with us in Lynn Olavario reporting live from Quezon City. Lynn, we'd like to know how did the inspection go? Riza, overall, officials from the Trade Department and the National Task Force Against COVID-19 are satisfied with the demonstration shown by the establishments they visited this afternoon to show their compliance to health protocols, including uh, protocols specifically for dine-in restaurants when they will be allowed to open under the modified GCQ. The officials first inspected the safety protocols at the SM Hypermart in North Edsa and found the need for bigger signages on distancing and floor markers. They welcomed the gradual return of customers, which bodes well for the steady rise of business. They also inspected souvenir store Cultura. The retail shop has reduced manpower and will only have 60% opening rate and with limited capacity for customers of 50 persons at a time. Cultura AVP Shilatan adds that their clothes are disinfected in a box overnight using UV light and once tried on by a customer it will not be put back to the rack. Meanwhile, Shakey's will have 60% less of their regular seating capacity. Every 30 minutes there will be a bell to signal that staff and guests should sanitize. Two customers will only be allowed per table unless they're members of the family in which no more than six per table will be allowed. Over at Tim Hoen, there's a QR code on the tables for its menu to minimize contact with the waiters. They will likely open to only 20% of their regular 100 packs seating capacity at a time with seats arranged a table apart. There's a UV room for PPE disinfection and a UV box where all deliveries will pass through before it goes to the kitchen. At McDonald's, customers will have to log in their info for contact tracing. They will also order using the self-ordering kiosks, or SOK, where alcohol is available for customers to sanitize after ordering. Those who will pay using cashless mode of payment, like cards and Paymaya, will just wait at designated spots, while those who will pay in cash will proceed to the counter where there's a partition in front of the cashier. Seating capacity will be reduced from 250 to 90, and there are also dividers in between tables. DTI Secretary Mon Lopez is satisfied with today's demonstrations. He thinks that restaurants will likely need to prepare for two weeks for the implementation of health protocols. Reza, the Trade Department will issue uh, their updated uh, protocols tonight. Most of it, most of it, have already been applied in today's gyron. Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr. also praised the malls and establishment, establishments' implementation of the guidelines set by the DTI. While Secretary Lopez adds that compliant establishments may already open for dine-in services under the MGCQ, while they're still studying if uh, dine-in services can be allowed to operate during the GCQ. Riza. Thank you. That was News 5, Lynn Olivario reporting live from Quezon City. Meanwhile, here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. The Foreign Affairs Department explains today's spike in COVID-19 cases among Filipinos abroad. It says the surge is due to the late case reports from the Middle East countries with, with rather strict private and confidentiality rules. Now, as of today, the number of COVID-positive Filipinos abroad stands at 5,184, while deaths are at 47. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines clarifies that a chartered plane from Wuhan, China did not carry passengers. The CAAP says the Royal Air Charter 417 was only transporting some unspecified cargo. According to FlightAware.com, the plane took off from Wuhan on Saturday morning and landed in Manila past noon. And the Transportation Department says the railway sector will be using the Stay Safe app to conduct contact tracing for passengers. Transportation under the Secretary says the use of the app approved by the Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Disease. Now for more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World Online. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.